Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of JNB Tuning. Well, today's episode, we are working on the Golf R. Um, I had a chance to drive the car around over the summer and unfortunately, there's too much potholes all over the place. I thought it was just a balancing situation right after that because of the fact that it's uh, there's a slight vibration when I'm driving in high speed. And so, uh, yeah, I got it checked and it looks like nothing to do with the balancing at all. And uh, I managed to bend my wheels uh, in the process. And so, um, yeah, it's, it's, so, it's not something that you can actually see where the bend is, but there's a slight bend where the car vibrates at around 120, 130 mark. Uh, or over I guess in that sense so anyways guys today's episode I'll be working on getting this wheel repaired in the process and uh, hopefully that fixes the problem well you know guys I do love the look of the 19 inch rims on the Golf R and uh, I think they they suit the car pretty well but uh, with the potholes all over the place here where I live uh, really um, I believe the 18 inch wheel do better on this car than anything else. Yeah, I'm always scared that I will damage the wheels or the tires or the, in fact, the wheels itself um, in the process. And so, you know what, guys, I'm almost in the fence in terms of um, the wheel size that I'll be putting on this car going forward. Um, yeah, let me know, guys, uh, down below in the comment and uh, see what you think in, th in terms of what you guys have on your Golf R. Uh, are you on 18s or are you on 19s? And uh, your opinion on that would be uh, gratefully appreciated. Anyways guys, I'm on the uh, pilot now and uh, heading out to Quicksilver, uh, the shop that will be fixing the wheels in the process. Uh, yeah, and uh, just a couple of minutes away from where I live, so it's fairly close by. And uh, it's just, uh, see, at first, it's my first time to actually work with these guys. They have a pretty good review in terms of uh, the products or the, uh, the service they provide. So uh, I'll give them a try and see how the, how it goes. Uh, anyways, well, folks, I have an update for you. I got a call from Joe, and uh, I was told that the wheel is fine. Uh, technically, there's no bend uh, on it. So basically, I'm not sure exactly where this vibration is coming from now. Um, well. It's possible that it could be my spacer again where I had that issue earlier on. And uh, yeah, and he's kind enough to truly um, testing the rest of the wheels. And so uh, we'll just need to test it all out and see if it's truly a bend or maybe it is the spacer. So at least we can rule out the problem in that sense. So anyways, guys, stay tuned. Happy to 
be waiting for you in the morning. I'ma leave without giving a warning. I'ma leave without giving a, giving a. But every time we say goodbye, we all know that it's a lie. Now I'm all alone, cause you never show. You say you will, but then you don't. Well, there goes the wheels, guys, and uh, all mounted and ready to be tested uh, to see and make sure that they're not bent in the process. So, uh, yeah, can't wait till I drop it off tomorrow. Well, guys, it's the following day, and I'm uh, pretty much on my way to drop off those wheels uh, for Joe to test um, if they are bent or not in the process. So, uh, well, uh, stay tuned. <laughs> Well, folks, we just tested all three wheels and uh, it appears to be that the rear right wheel was actually the one that got bent all along. I knew it was something on the, somewhere in the right side of the vehicle and I thought it was the front at first, but it's actually the rear that is bent. So yeah, that uh, basically explains it, explains all that vibration. In a way, I'm glad that it wasn't the uh, spacers that are causing the issue because yeah i truly like to have that space uh spaced out a little bit because of stands but other than that yeah no it's it looks like uh, i have uh one wheel to be fixed there so i'll be picking it up at the end of the day uh joe's gonna work on it so yeah no i'm grateful for that Well, folks, just picked up the wheel and uh, yeah, can't wait to put it back in and see uh, if that vibration is gone. Hopefully that does it and that, uh, yeah, I can drive the car uh, again and um, with, uh, with no vibration that is. Well guys, I'm on the Golf R now, so all wheels are back in place and uh, I'm going for a test drive and see how this uh, this wheel uh, is, is doing now with that fix. Every time we say goodbye They all see that it's a lie Cause we always give it one last try Yeah, you've watched me break Well folks, um, I'll uh, take it to the highway of some sort or um, some country road somewhere and uh, try to hit the 120 mark and see uh, how well the wheels are and uh, see if that uh, vibration is is gone um, really I, I truly hope that is the case so anyways we shall find out just gonna get to the highway here I'm gonna leave with 
without giving a warning I'm leave without giving a, giving a But every time we say goodbye We all know so far at 70 kilometers uh, per hour, I don't feel any of vibration, which I did feel some in the process around the 70 kilometer to to 80 kilometers. Um, but this time it's fairly smooth. is technically what how it's supposed to come out out of the factory so uh, yeah um, I wish that the uh, the car came like the way the Europe uh, European um, Golf R's are where they're sitting at uh, 310 or 300, yeah, 310 horsepower or so I will um, 
get the chance to actually bring it out to, to the dealer. So. Peace out.